Hi everybody, this is Doug Stewart at the Ski Rack, giving you a little more knowledge on tooling. One of the biggest changes in bike racks for the past couple of years has been the evolution of the hitch rack to more of a tray style rack. Hitch racks have been hanging racks that have worked really well for road bikes and hybrid bikes with horizontal top tubes, but now that people are doing more mountain bikes as well as step through frames and low entry frames, a hitch rack that has a tray seems to work a lot easier, a lot more versatile, a lot less work getting the bike in, um, and just a little more stable way to carry your bike. One of the easiest ways to go and simplest ways to go from Thule is the Double Track Pro. Double Track Pro is roughly $349. We'll carry two bikes. We'll go on either a one and a quarter inch hitch or a two inch hitch. Both bikes are secured with grabbers here that grab either a seat post or any part of the frame really to hold the bike in place. And then the wheel holders can move where they need to go so the wheels are strapped in. Um, this bike rack will only carry two bikes. It cannot grow out to carry three or four bikes. It does not tip away from the vehicle to give you better access to the trunk in the back of the vehicle. Uh, but at 349, it's a great way to get a frame carrying tray rack on the back of your vehicle. So another Thule tray rack, hitch tray rack, that's become an instant classic is the T2 Classic. So the T2 design's been around for a little bit, a little while, and basically this works in holding the front tire. So your bike's gonna go in here, front tire, front wheel is gonna be held down. You can get locks for this as well, um, and then lock that in place, two bikes. The T2 tra Classic can also grow out, and you can add on an extension and make this a four bike rack. It does lock to the vehicle uh, the same way the Double Track Pro does. And then one added bonus that the Double Track Pro doesn't do that the T2 Classic will do is it will let you tip the bikes and tip the rack away from the car so you get better chance of clearing the hatch and getting into the back of the vehicle while there are bikes on the rack. So at 479, you've got a tray rack that's going to go in either a two inch or one and a quarter, and it can't go back and forth. It needs to be one or the other. If you're going to go out to do four bikes, it does need to be a two inch hitch. Um, you've got something holding the wheel, not touching the frame, works with any bike, ready for a fat bike, ready for anything, um, and really adjustable for positioning so you can make the two bikes kind of work together and not hit each other. T2 Pro, this is the best. Great design, this relatively new from Thule. A little bit higher off the ground to give you better uh, clearance driving around. A rack that's going to hold the bike by the wheel. So front wheel is held, secured in there. Locking is done via a cable. So you've got a good secure lock on there that can go around the frame of the bike. So no one's taking this thing out of the, out of the rack. Rack does come with locks for both bikes. Comes with a lock as well as to the vehicle. While this is loaded, you can also use the handle here to lower it down and bring the bikes away from the vehicle so you can still open your hatch and get into the back of the vehicle while it's loaded with bikes. The trays can move if they need to to kind of get the bikes to be compatible with each other. Um, really stable, really solid, ready for fat bike tires as well. We'll do anything. The only thing you need to watch out with a rack like this is if you do have a front fender, this can be tricky getting a front fender in there, but this would work for electric bikes, heavy, beefy, strong bikes. The T2 Pro will do it.